Welcome to the Word in Power Global Broadcast with Bishop E. M. Jackson, Senior Pastor of Inner City Tabernacle of Life Ministries. Thank you for joining this ministry presentation of teaching and preaching from the Word of God. Connect with Bishop Jackson all across social media platforms or email at ictabernacle at gmail.com. Now let's get ready for a service already in progress. you be ready when my Jesus comes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's ready. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. First Corinthians chapter one, beginning at verse number 18. And the Bible says, hallelujah, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For after that end, the wisdom of God, the world, by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Right quickly, Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, it says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believe it, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, it's not foolish, it's the gospel. Neighbor, it's not foolish, it's the gospel. Kind Father, we come before you right now in the precious name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you would hide us behind the cross and sanctify us by your truth. Father, grant us to us from this day to declare this your word boldly unto this your people. Father, we ask you right now, you cover us, O oh God, from the top of our head under the sole of our feet, O oh God. Father, we ask you right now, God, that we be concluded giving and delivering that you're flowing through us with unto your people, O oh God, that you, Lord God, would be glorified, that your people would have been edified, and the devil would be horrified. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and for your mercy. And a renewed day by day. Hide us behind the cross and sanctify us by your truth. And Father, we be so careful to give you all the glory, to give you all the honor, and to give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. You may have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not foolish, it's the gospel. Hallelujah. People must understand that the gospel is more than just the good news. But the gospel brings forth the good news. Hallelujah. It is shared throughout the eons of time. Hallelujah. Ever since that Jesus was recognized as being resurrected from the dead. 
Hallelujah. It brought forth the good news that what he had talked about, what he had instructed about, what he had shared with those that were with him uh, in his groups and of that nature, that he was coming back again. Uh, the realization of that my God came back and it brought forth the good news as came forth even at the graveside where the borrowed tomb was at. Amen. When Mary began to go over there to put some frankincense and put some uh, myrrh on their body, realized they ain't had nobody to put that on. Hallelujah. But then he appeared unto them and let them know, go tell your brother and go tell him that I rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Begin to share the good news that our Savior is alive. Hallelujah. Begin to share the good news. Uh, hallelujah. That what he said did come to pass. Yes. Hallelujah. It is remarkable today uh, to see a man how the earth has progressed since the time of Jesus and understanding a man how mankind's wisdom uh, has progressed. Hallelujah. From the times of Jesus and they still have not got the understanding uh, of the power of what God was doing at that time uh, and is still flowing forth unto right now. Hallelujah. Man tried to put it away and say, no, the gods had let somebody in, let the disciples in to steal the body. It all like that. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, they, they're talking about they were, because you know they were sleeping, right? Hallelujah. Uh, 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 from the biblical uh, uh, historical perspective, uh, 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 all of a sudden they looked around and the stone was rolled away. Hallelujah. So they put a natural part. This the government getting in this thing. And every time the government gets into something, they got something to hide. Hallelujah. Uh, the, you, you know how the government works. Everything they don't want you to know about. Hallelujah. Everything they don't want to give you the truth about. They give you their spin on the condition. They give you their spin on the situation. Hallelujah. But the truth of the matter is that they don't want you to know the real truth about what is happening and about what is going on unless it's going to make them look good in the light. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. Hey, man, they man. And so the government got involved. The Roman government got involved. And uh, over there, all of a sudden, uh, and, 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 and the high priest them got involved and said, look, somebody must have stole his body. You know, what happened to your guards over there? What happened to this, that, and the other? And they realized that, hallelujah, that, that, that he, that they were still there, hallelujah, and that the body was just not there because he was resurrected. Hallelujah. And, and, and it proved that because now he began to show himself uh, along with his followers, his believers, with the disciples at certain places. You remember the, the ministry, the messages uh, uh, about him appearing where they were. Hallelujah. About him walking with them and teaching them 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, hallelujah. You remember them talking about going up there on the day of Pentecost as he ascended on up. Uh, and as the Father sent back down the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Uh, they, they, it was indisputable uh, that Jesus rose from the dead uh, because he walked around out there and began to teach them uh, and gave them instructions. It is no doubt in my mind uh, that Jesus rose from the dead. Hallelujah. It is no doubt in my mind no matter what man says, uh, no matter what man wisdom says uh, because he tried to wisdom himself out of Jesus being real, tried to wisdom himself out of Jesus being uh, the son of God, uh, tried to wisdom himself out of Jesus being that word made flesh. Uh, but can I tell you one thing? Uh, he is the word made flesh. Hallelujah. Because he revealed uh, the word that was spoken. Uh, he walked on this earth uh, and he demonstrated who God is. Uh, we wouldn't know uh, the true what it means, uh, 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 what God is, uh, uh, unless Jesus demonstrated to us and gave us understanding uh, from his instruction uh, through the word of God uh, to help us to understand better about the God in whom we serve. Hallelujah. Oh, good God Almighty. So we're talking about, amen, that, that the world's wisdom has made it kind of foolish to believe uh, about Jesus Christ. But all of a sudden, here comes the word comes. Uh, the Bible says that the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth. That that we preach. 
Hallelujah. If you believe that Jesus Christ, amen, uh, was on that cross, you believe that he suffered, bled, and died, uh, you believe that he rose again from the dead, uh, you can therefore be saved. Uh, you can have salvation. Uh, you can have a rescue. Uh, you can have release from the troubles that you're in. Uh, you can have that promise of the Father. Hallelujah. Because uh, you believe that Jesus, hallelujah, the Christ, the anointed one, uh, the Messiah, and he came on this earth and that he did that just for you. Hallelujah. Man begins to not understand because they've got to see a natural thing. Hallelujah. As I said up on last night, that faith that is seen is not faith. Uh, it's, in Rome, it's in the book of Romans. A faith that you see is not faith. Faith is a trust. Faith is a confidence. It is a belief. Hallelujah. It is something that we're trusting and believing that shall and will happen. Hallelujah. And if it's already happened, then what do you need faith for if, it, if it's already been done? <laughs> but, but we are believing God for certain things and we're believing God and trusting God uh, and he will bring us through our troubles or bring us through our circumstance and bring us through that that we're experiencing we're trusting him because we understand that he can and that he will and he's capable of doing anything but fail hallelujah is somehow we understand uh, that God can do things, uh, that he can do things that man cannot do. Hallelujah. As we begin to hear the different stories out of the Bible, hear the things that happen in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, hearing the testimonies and reading about the testimonies about what he did for the people of Israel, what he did for individuals in the Bible, what he did even this morning through Esther in, the, in our Sunday school lesson. Uh, we read over that Job. We talked about Joseph a while back. Hallelujah. We've been talking about Daniel. How God did these certain things through these individuals it gives us hope and faith uh, that can also do those things for us uh, as you believe and trust him uh, that he will make a way that he will come through uh, that he will is the answer unto that that we needed in this day in this time and in this hour why it's not foolishness baby it is the gospel hallelujah it is the good news uh, that you say that can't happen uh, but my faith looks up to thee uh, my faith looks unto God and say God I know uh, you can do it God I know you can help me God I know uh, you're going to bring me out God I know uh, you're going to keep me what I'm going through uh, Father even though they talked about me even though they tried to lie against me uh, even though they lay up things against and try to get ready to do certain things uh, I know God you're going to protect me you're going to keep me oh God uh, you are my healer my helper my provider got you what I need in this day, in this hour, thou art my lover. Hallelujah. He is what I need in this day. He's what we need in this day. He is our Savior. Man tries to wisdom his way away from God. He can think of any old thing or why he should not come to church or why he should not listen to what is being said or spoken. But if you really listen and receive, I guarantee you your life will get different. Your life will be better. I'm not going to promise you no rosy day every day. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there's a faith that comes in there with God. Is a trust that comes in it with him that he will make it all right. Hallelujah. You may be sitting at home right now and it's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be bothered with that one. I don't want to be bothered with that one. But can I tell you one thing? Put your faith, your trust in Jesus and watch what he will do, how he will turn it around for you. Some things he'll do immediately and some things he'll put line up on line and precept up on precept. Hallelujah. Uh, here a little, there a little. He'll do it like that. But it will all come together. Why? Because it's, a, it's working together for your good. 
Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, it, it might not happen this week, and it might not happen next week, uh, but if you keep on trusting, and if you keep on believing, uh, at some appointed time, God will come through uh, because he was already doing something in the background uh, that we yet do not see. It's not foolishness. Uh, it is the gospel. Uh, it is the good news uh, about the God in whom we serve, uh, and he's able to do anything, uh, and he's going to help us and keep us to that that we are going through uh, as we continue to press our way. Don't let no man talk you out of your blessing. Uh, don't let nobody talk you out of uh, serving God. Uh, don't let nobody talk you out of uh, holding on to your faith uh, because the enemy will come uh, with natural understanding uh, but your faith is not in natural understanding. It is in the power, in the presence of the almighty God uh, because you know he shall, he will uh, because he's proved himself over and over again and he'll do it over and over again. Why? He's just that kind of God. I serve a God, can I tell you? I serve a God and he has billions of prayers every day. But can I tell you one thing? He hear my call and he hear my cry and hallelujah at the appointed time he answered he make things alright. He's just that bigger kind of God and he can fix my problem uh, at one time. Uh, he can fix your problem uh, at the same time. Uh, he can fix my cousin's problem uh, at the same time. Uh, he's just that kind of God uh, that can bring forth miracles uh, in the Middle East. Uh, that can bring forth miracles uh, in Africa. That can bring forth miracles uh, in South America. That can bring forth miracles uh, in Canada. He can bring forth miracles uh, right now. Uh, he's all-knowing, all-powerful, all-seeing. Uh, he He's the kind of God in whom we serve uh, and we believe uh, that he will provide, uh, that he will deliver, uh, that he will make a way. Uh, it's not foolishness. Uh, it's the gospel. Uh, it is the good news uh, that my God shall supply all of my needs uh, according to his riches in glory. Uh, my God is rich. Uh, the cattle on a thousand hills. Uh, my God is rich. Uh, he got everything in his hand. Uh, he can use whoever he wants to use uh, because sometimes uh, he can't come to us individually uh, in a manifestation like that uh, because the Bible declares uh, that no man has seen God and lived. Uh, Y'all ain't saying that. Uh, so he'll use Aunt Susie. So he'll use Uncle Joe. Uh, so he'll use Brother This. Uh, he'll use Sister That. Uh, to come and give you that blessing uh, that you've been looking for. Uh, hallelujah. What a mighty God uh, that we serve. It's not foolishness. It's the gospel. It is the gospel that we're living today. It's the gospel that brought us up out of the muck and the miry clay. It's the gospel that I heard that saved my life and gave me a turnaround from where I was sinking deep. But God said, I've heard your cry. I've heard your call. Come on up, my child. Come on up, my daughter. Daughter. Come on up, my son. Let me lift you. Hallelujah. And when it picks you up, you begin to glorify and magnify him. You begin to understand what they suffered for back when. You begin to understand why they gave their lives for this. You begin to understand why they look unto him as the author and finisher of their faith. Because it's not foolishness. It's the gospel. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God the glory. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not ashamed of it. It's the power of God and the salvation. I'm not ashamed of it. Hallelujah. Some call it foolishness, uh, but I call it the wisdom of God. Uh, hallelujah. Because man trying to find it in his own wisdom uh, and can't find it. Uh, but I found what mankind couldn't find. Uh, I found the Savior. Hallelujah. I found the Savior that delivered me out of uh, and brought me into. Uh, you still searching. Uh, you still looking. Uh, but I 
found the Savior. Hallelujah. And I realize uh, that declared and saved my life uh, that went to Calvary's cross uh, for me. Uh, hallelujah. 2,000 years uh, in advance knew uh, that I would need a God. Uh, knew that I would need a Savior. Knew that uh, I was sinking low. Uh, knew that uh, I had problems in my life. Uh, but yet and still, uh, he looked out into the future and there I was. Uh, there you was uh, right there what you're going through uh, whatever year there you were uh, and he died uh, on Calvary's cross uh, he died right there uh, hallelujah and the blood that came out of him uh, it brought forth my salvation uh, the blood that came out of him uh, hallelujah oh thank you Jesus uh, it purchased my gift uh, it purchased my life uh, he's my kinsman redeemer Hallelujah to his name. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I found the friend like none other. I found the Savior like none other. I found him. Hallelujah. He been right there. I finally opened my eyes and said, Lord, save me. Lord, help me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, keep me. Hallelujah. It's not foolishness. It's the gospel. Hallelujah. Ain't foolishness. You may look at me strange. Hallelujah. But I keep on going. In the name of the Lord. Oh, you may have me down just for a little moment. Hallelujah. You may have me thinking crazy just for a moment. But what the old folks say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. And all he's done for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. I begin to remember, I thank God for saving me. Hallelujah. Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I do get my moments in time. But all of a sudden, I begin to think about the goodness of God. I begin to think about what he did for so and so. What he did for me way back when. I begin to think about what he can do and what he's capable of. Hallelujah. I begin to snap out of it. Hallelujah. And begin to call up on him and say, Lord, forgive me. Oh, God, I fell short. Uh, but he said, I'm right there waiting for you. When you fall short, uh, he said, repent and come on. Uh, hallelujah. Lord, forgive me of my error of my way. Uh, God, forgive me of my sin. Uh, God, forgive me of my shortcoming. Uh, I'm coming right back with you, God. Uh, hallelujah. And he's just that kind of God uh, that will say, come on in, my child. Uh, he's just that kind of God uh, that will restore you back in his presence. Uh, he's just that kind of God uh, that will cover you in the blood. He's just that kind of God. And I'll bring you up. Your Bible says, he'll set a table before you and your enemies. Hallelujah. And then let your enemies know, yeah, yeah, this is still my child. I'm still blessing her. I'm still blessing him. I'm still with him. I'm still with this family. Hallelujah. He'll set a table in the presence of your enemies and let the world know. Hallelujah. I still got her back. I still got his back. Right there. Hallelujah. It's not foolishness. It's the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. I can't help it, y'all. I'm in revival mode. Hallelujah. 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 It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the one that brought us back when our mind was all tore up. It's the one that brought us back when the situation got us all out the way. Hallelujah. He was waiting right there with open arms. He was waiting right there to help us. He was waiting right there to bring us up. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 It'll do you good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
here is like milk. It's a milk to the body good. But hallelujah, hallelujah, that's the soul good. Hallelujah, it's the highest praise. Hallelujah, it's the highest praise. Magnify your Savior. Magnify your God. Magnify your Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody need to say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When the last time you said yes, Lord. When the last time you said yes, Lord. Not my will, but your will. Yes, Lord. Not my way, but your way. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Suffered, bled, and died. For our sins. Yeah. Yeah. And rose from the dead. Yeah. Yeah. And if that was not enough. Yeah. He coming back again. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. He coming back again. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. For that church. Yeah. Without spot. Yeah. Without wrinkle. Hallelujah. I like what John said last night. He said, I saw him coming in the robe of judgment upon the spirits of these churches. But there was that one church, that Philadelphia church. Hallelujah. Oh, that kept on going. That kept on pressing their way. He said, I know you're weak. Hallelujah. Because they've been in the struggle. Because they kept on pressing. Hallelujah. They kept on believing. Hallelujah. That this gospel, this is the right thing to do. He said, because of what you have done, I'm going to open the door that no man can shut. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, my God. Hallelujah. He going to open the door. John said, he going to open the door that no man can shut. He wrote it like he had it. Hallelujah. This was a man. If it would have been other people, this man wouldn't have wrote nothing. Emperor Domitian went, went over there and boiled him at all. Emperor said, well, he ain't dead yet. I'm going to poison him. He didn't die yet. <laughs> he said, I'm going to cast him on the path because I cannot have this dude talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. He thought he was God. But God showed him who truly is God. Yes. Hallelujah. And John came back and lived a whole lengthy life about the Patmos back at Ephesus. Jonathan couldn't do anything about the God that was inside of John. Because he received the gospel. Hallelujah. That no one could deny. Hallelujah. It's just like you know who you are. You know you're a man. You know you're a woman. Hallelujah. You know you black. You can't pass for white. <laughs> Hallelujah. At least not up in here with what I see up in here. Uh -uh. I say, you know who you are. Hallelujah. Receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's not foolishness. It's the gospel. It's not man's wisdom. But it is the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. And has been hid. <sighs> Hallelujah. Except unto them that believe and receive. Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you for what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard, and what we have read, oh God, and that you brought the past to help us to remember who you are. Thank you, Master. God, we thank you right now in advance. God, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We were on the text line with Apostle Love this morning, and he was blessing all the preachers and the ministers and said, he said he wanted to see God's going to bring forth a manifestation in your services today. Hallelujah. If I did not know 
what I was going to do here. <laughs> but God brought forth that word to pass, and I thank God for it. Hallelujah. Because it's all about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There may be someone out there that have heard these wonderful testimonies from these that have done the word presentation and have heard this gospel message and realize where they are right now is not where they need to be in God. For those that never knew Jesus or hadn't heard about Jesus, he is the Savior of the world. So no matter what point of the earth that you are on, that you're listening to this message at, I want you to understand that Jesus died for you at Calvary. Hallelujah. He was the sacrifice, the sacrificial lamb for the sin of the whole world. And because of his sacrifice, you have the right to receive him as Lord and as Savior. Hallelujah. What will that do? That will give you the promise of the destiny. Hallelujah. That God has prepared for you. All you've got to do is say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me at Calvary, that your blood was shed for me at Calvary. I believe that when they put your body in that tomb, that it didn't stay there, but that you rose from the dead. And Lord, I believe from hearing what I heard of on today that you're coming back again. My kind Father today, those that have said those words with us up on today, that you will touch their lives wherever they are, Master. Restore them back into the beloved and with the brethren of the gospel of Jesus Christ, knowing, Father, that this didn't come from man, not man's wisdom. But, Father, we got the wisdom from you, heavenly wisdom, that let us know that the sacrifice for our sin was made. And all we got to do is begin is to accept it. You've been listening to The Gospel Message with Bishop E. M. Jackson, Senior Pastor of Inner City Tabernacle of Life Ministries. For more information concerning this broadcast, your emails are welcome to ictabernacle at gmail.com that's ictabernacle at gmail.com blessings to you and thanks for joining us and until next time remember let Jesus live it for you